Hey guys, Mario and friends here, and here's our plush collection for October 2021, starting with the one and only Mario Party 5 Mario. Think Geek Mario, aka the white guy. All-Star Mario. Popco Running Mario. Sene New Super Mario Bros. Wii Mario. Kelly Toy Black Eyes Mario, aka B Mario. Not B Mario as in the power-up, but B Mario. It's an abbreviation. Sene 2012 Baby Mario. Sene 2011 Fire Mario, missing his hat. Sene All-Star Fire Mario. Custom Mario Party 5 Fire Mario plush. That's right, we have two. It's kind of insane. Sene 2007 Mario Galaxy Fire Mario. He's even got the tag. Sene 2012 Squirrel Mario, aka Cop Mario. Don't ask why we call him that. Missing his nose. <laughs> Another Squirrel Mario, but brand new, has the tag and everything. Sene All Star Metal Mario. Sene All Stars Doctor Mario. Got this guy from the Funky Kitty. Sene 2010 Mario. And finally, to end off the main Marios, we got Sene 2007B Mario. Next is the Luigi, starting out with Mario Party 5 Luigi. All Star Luigi. Luigi's Mansion Luigi. Baby Luigi. Another Mario Party 5 Luigi, this time with a Fire Luigi hat. That's right, we also have another Luigi. Once again, kind of insane. Sene Fire Luigi. Goldie Luigi. Squirrel Luigi. Satan Luigi. And Luigi Possessed by Dark Matter. Doesn't exactly look like him, but this is Luigi. Next is Peach. Daisy. Rosalina. Next is All-Star Wario. BDNA Wario. I even got my tag. Original Sene Wario. Original Sene Waluigi. And All-Star Waluigi. Next is all the Yoshis, starting out with this little tiny baby Yoshi keychain. Fun fact, this is the first ever plush we had for Mario, or any plushies in this collection. Next is Goldie Yoshi. Next is a ton of bootleg Yoshis, not going one by one because that's just going to take way too long. But here they are. Next is three original Sene Yoshis. Next is a ton of All-Star Yoshis. The whole set, including an extra black Yoshi. Next is this giant Yoshi. I love Big Big. Yoshi's Island DS Gray Yoshi. Next are our personal favorite Yoshis. We have the Toy Sight Black Yoshi and the Toy Sight White Posable Yoshi. Kind of insane. And that does it for the Yoshis. Next, we have Original Sene Toad. Goldie Toad with a custom jacket. Good Stuff Toad, aka Smelly Toad. Mario Bros. Wii Blue Toad. Another Blue Toad. Here's a random Blue Toad. I hate him and he ruined everything! A couple of naked yellow toads. And a yellow toad that actually has clothes on. Next, we have Sanei Donkey Kong. Some people don't count him as Mario, but we're just doing that because there's not enough in the original Donkey Kong series that you can count. Next is Vigigi! Next up is this Wind Up DK plush. Next is the new and improved Cranky Kong. All-Star Diddy Kong. 2011 Diddy Kong. BDNA Diddy Kong, missing his shirt. And a Tommy Banana from Mario Kart because why not? Along with King K. Rool. He's technically not King K. Rool, but we say he's King K. Rool. So here's all the hero characters for the Mario side of the collection. Already takes up around half of the bed. And there's K. Rool. He's kind of a villain, so he's on the opposite side. Alright, now onto the real villains. We have Mario Party 5 Bowser. Then we have Big Bowser. Original Sene Bowser. Bootleg Dark Bowser, Dry Bowser, and BDNA Bowser. Next is the Kooplings, starting out with Morton. 
Roy, Ludwig, Wendy, aka the worst character to ever appear on the channel, Bootleg Iggy, Real Iggy, Lemmy, Larry, I have a sinus infection, Wendy's mutilated corpse sent to us from Funky Kitty, and to finish off the Koopalings, the original 2009 Sene Jr. Don't pay $400 for this. Next up, we have this giant Sene Goomba, Zipper Goomba, Sene Goomba, Little Tiny Goomba, I have no clue this guy's origins, two custom Goombas used in Mario and Proto Man, two Tomy Goombas, one of them being the really Goomba. Really? Next is the Koopas. We have Ban Presto Koopa, my personal favorite Koopa. Two Goldie Koopas, not the original. The original Goldie Koopa. Paratroopa. Dry Bones. We're counting the Dry Bones as a Koopa because, you know, it looks like one. All Star Dry Bones. Old Sene Dry Bones, Mecha Koopa, Lakitu, it's not Lakitu, <laughs> Spiny, Kamek, next up, Big Boo, Popco Balloon Boo, Sene Boo, another Sene Boo, these guys are all stars, original Sene Boo. You can barely see it, but there's a little bit of chapstick on his upper lip. Ban Presto Boo. We don't know if this is official or fake, but uh, he looks really stupid, and I hate him. Technically not a villain, but he is a Boo, kind of. Polterpup. Next up, we have this horrific, deformed, absolutely insane, deranged, just broke out of solitary confinement, Chain Chomp. We don't know where this, where he came from. Next is a fairly normal Chain Chomp compared to that. Next is this guy, Porky Pupper. He's pretty fun. Next is Pokey, Boomerang Bro. I don't know this guy's origins either. Monty Mole, Spike, Custom Bob on seen in Mario and Proto Man. Same episode as the Really Goomba. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Next is Boom Boom. Next up is two Piranha Plants, one official, one bootleg. Uh, comment down below, which one is the bootleg, left or right? If you guess right, uh, I'm sending you to the Mr. Beast Challenge. There is also five little fuzzies in this box. All this tagged. is what one looks like. All tagged, All tagged fuzzies. Our second to last Mario plush, PD Piranha bootleg. Hate this guy. He deserves absolutely nothing. And our final Mario plush. The one we love the most. The official Popco P Piranha. I mean, just give a round of applause for this. Like, you can't make anything much better than this. Like, I mean, let's let's be honest. And he's somehow only 25 bucks. 20, Worth it. 25. Worth 25. Tagged. Tagged. Like, okay, alright. You, you know how it is. And that officially completes the Mario part of the collection. Here's all the heroes once again. And all of the villains. Now that that part of the collection is done, it's time to go to Sonic. All right, to start off with the Sonics, we have X-Sonic, the best Sonic plush, Tomy Sonic, the new GE Sonic, the mini GE Sonic, Metal Sonic, Classic Metal Sonic, Classic Sonic, Boom Sonic, Big Boom Sonic, Toy Factory Sonic, Next up is your god, Phil! Bow down to me now! Alright, uh, where do I sit here? I'll find a place after the camera cuts. GE Supersonic, New GE Supersonic, 
Tomy Classic Supersonic. Me, Larry. You know I'm a werehog. I kind of look like one, so you know it's me, Larry. I feel. Hey, uh, I can't move. Uh, I'm immobilized. Okay, okay. I don't want to be immobilized, but I'll accept my fate. Jazz wears werehog. Next up, Sene Tails. Another Sene Tails. Boom Tails. Classic Tails. And Toy Factory Tails. Next up is for Knuckles, the best Knuckles plush ever created, the Sene 2012 Knuckles. Such a perfect plush for this lad. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. And then we have the most disappointing guy ever, I hope he is never loved, the old Sene Knuckles. GE Classic Knuckles. Tomy 25th Anniversary Classic Knuckles. Joey! Or Boom Knuckles. Little Joey! Or Boom Knuckles, but with a brain tumor. And finally, Toy Factory Knuckles. Next up is 2012 Sene Amy. This plush is forever scarred because a goat at a zoo tried to bite her leg off. It was truly horrifying. Then there's Boom Amy. Jazz wears Classic Amy. And Toy Factory Amy. Next up is the Shadows. We have GE Shadow. A bagged GE Super Shadow. A big Jazzware Shadow, aka Lyft, possibly. You guys will never understand this. Leave me at Lyft Link! Toy Factory Arcade Shadow. Boom Shadow. And finally, Sene Shadow. Next up is Silver. GE Silver. GE Silver without chest hair. Kelly Toy Silver, who was horribly mutated in a past life, causing his head to be stitched back onto his body. And finally, one of the crowns of the Sonic Plush Collection, Jazzware Silver. Next up for Team Chaotix, we have Vector. We have Vector again. And another Vector. This guy is actually canonically dead because his tattoo is missing. Then we have Espio. And then Charlie. Then we have Jet, Wave, and Storm. He's the one who calls everyone Gollum. Next up, we have Chaos, the beginning of the Chow, Two Tomy Chow, GE Chow to be Cheese, and to end off the Chow, we have Dark Chow. Next, we have GE Cream, then the GE Sonic X Cream, Blaze, Big the Cat, Rouge, a custom marine that we got years ago and still has yet to be used, Sticks, Orbot, and Infinite. Next up, the Eggman. We have the original GE Classic Eggman. Yeah, lad. Then we have the original custom Eggman. I'm really stupid, you know what I'm saying? Then we have Boom Eggman. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then we have the Tomy Classic Eggman. I, 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 I mean, ah, uh, da, 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 I, I mean, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then we have a Tomy Classic Eggman protecting himself from the ongoing pandemic. In the year 2020, there will be an, a world. Then we have a Tomy Modern Eggman. One of the big boys, you know what I'm saying? Then we have this little toy factory Eggman. Yeah, I'm saying. And then finally, the best Eggman, which hasn't been used on this channel yet. A custom Eggman. I am the best, you know what I'm saying? And the last Sonic plush is Riala from Nuts. He's technically not Sonic, but he also technically is. We're just counting him as Sonic, so yeah. So that officially does it for the Sonic plush collection. Not as big as Mario, but still pretty hefty. So now it is on to Kirby. Okay, it's time for the Kirby collection. Starting off with the Kirby pillow thing. Not sure why you want this, but it's pretty cool, so buy it. Then we have an all-star Kirby, another all-star Kirby, the original Sene Kirby, sitting Sene Kirby, a mini sitting Kirby, a puffed up Kirby, not sure of the brand here, a sitting Kirby from the same brand. Here's the one and only creepy Kermoid. Next up we have the Waddle Dees. This is the original Sene Kirby's Adventure Waddle Dee. 
Another Kirby's Adventure Waddle Dee. He's a little scuffed. Another Kirby's Adventure Waddle Dee. Another Kirby's Adventure Waddle Dee. A bootleg All Star Waddle Dee. A real All Star Waddle Dee. This strange little creature. And finally, my favorite Waddle Dee. We all know him, we all love him. The tagged Kirby's Adventure Waddle Dee. Next up is a couple of Waddle Doos. Here's a bootleg one with no hair. Technically another hairless one, we just glued some hair onto him, doesn't look great. And then the newest Waddle Do with perfect hair and everything. Next up is good old Kawasaki. I shouldn't say good, he's committed multiple crimes. Next up is PBJ. Next up is the first of the animal buddies, Rick. Then there's Kine. And Koo. Then we have Scarfy. Then there's Cracko. Marks. Fun fact, his first name is Carl. Look it up. Magalore. Susie. Taranza. And Dark Matter. Missing so much. He's mutilated beyond belief. Next up, the Meta Knights. Starting out with All Star Meta Knight. Then an All Star Meta Knight with the sword in his hand. The Kirby's Adventure Meta Knight that is missing his sword because the All-Star took it. Then the original Kirby's Adventure Meta Knight, all intact, even with a tag. Second to last, we have the All-Star Collection King DDD. This plush is absolute garbage. He's so ugly. He deserves to die. He doesn't deserve love. He doesn't <laughs> deserve affection. He should be killed and killed again. No love. No, no, love. no love. No love. I hate this guy. And last of the Kirby Collection. But certainly not least. In fact, this guy is the crown of the entire plush collection. Not just Kirby, everyone. The original Kirby's Adventure King DDD plush. We were searching for this lad for years, and we finally got him. He is absolutely perfect in every way. And if you disagree, I hate you. He is the best plush ever made. Facts. Facts. That is facts. And that is the end of the Kirby collection. And now, it is time for Splatoon. All right, next is Splatoon. And to save space and time, they've all been condensed into this little shelf. So first, we have the Inkling Boy, the Inkling Girl, Inkling Girl from Splatoon 2, Inkling Boy from Splatoon 2, Pearl, Marie, Callie, and Marina. Then we have the orange and blue squids from World of Nintendo, older versions of the Splatoon 1 Inklings, an older Cali, and then an Agent 2 custom of Marie. And here is the custom Octavio. And that is it for the Splatoon collection. Now it's time for FNAF. Here we have the Big Freddy, a custom Nightmare Fredbear, Sanshi Freddy, Sanshi Foxy, Sanshi Bonnie, Sanshi Chica, and Sanshi Fredbear. Next up is the custom but mutilated Nightmareon. Funko Freddy, Custom Withered Bonnie, Foxy, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Golden Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Mangle, Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy, Funko Bonnie, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Bonnie, Springtrap, Shadow Freddy, Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Foxy, Helpy, El Chip, Big Patch, I'm gonna take my pants off. Oroville, and then the Exotic Butters Basket. They're all on vacation right now, so you can't see them. And here's Lefty. And that is it for the FNAF collection. Now it's time for Pikmin. Starting out with Olimar, All-Star Red Pikmin, Blue Pikmin, Yellow Pikmin, World of Nintendo Blue Pikmin, Pikmin 2 White and Purple Pikmin, and the All-Star Rock and Wind Pikmin. 
And to end the Pikmin section off, we have Bulborb. Very awesome plush. It's a pretty small collection, but that is it for Pikmin. Now on to the Persona section. Alright, to start the Persona characters, we have Joker's school outfit, Joker and his thief outfit, Yu Narukami, Yosuke, Akechi in his detective uniform, Akechi in his thief outfit, Aegis, Makoto, and Makoto's persona, Thanatos. Next up, Zelda. So we're gonna start with a villain this time, Ganon. Ah, oh, you know me, enchiladas. Then we have the Breath of the Wild Bokoblin, Toon Link, Zelda, and Link. And that's it for the Zelda collection. Now on to Mega Man. All right, to start, we have the Sanae Mega Man, GE Mega Man, Mega Man EXE, Sanae Proto Man, GE Proto Man, I hate this guy, Proto Man EXE, one of the coolest Mega Man plushies, base, a custom base designed after these Sanae plushies, Zero, Wily, custom from Mario Proto Man, and Alien, which is using Mario Proto Man, and I dug it from Mega Man. One more actually, here's Rush. So that does it for Mega Man, now time for Angry Birds. Alright, to start off the Angry Birds, we have the biggest plush in this entire collection, the Mighty Eagle. Next up, we have the Red Bird, the Space Red Bird, Chuck, Space Chuck, Bomb Bird, the Blue Bird, another Blue Bird, Bubbles, Inflated Bubbles, Hal, the White Bird that shoots eggs. I don't remember its name. Next up, a big pig, a mustache pig, a normal pig, a king pig, and another king pig. That's it for the Angry Birds section. Now time for Final Fantasy VII. First for FF7, we have Cloud. Then another Cloud, Sephiroth, another Sephiroth, Tifa, and Aerith, and Chocobo. That's it for all the FF7 plushies. Next up is an anime section. So to start the anime section, we have a big Titan. Next up is the Armored Titan, the Colossal Titan, Aaron's Titan, Aaron, Levi, Armin, Mikasa, Ani, Sasha, Jotaro, Bucciarati, Giorno and Narancia, and to end off the anime section, L. That's it for the anime section, now time for Pokemon. To start with Pokemon, we have Incineroar. Then we have Charizard, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, who is currently being turned into Ivysaur, Pikachu, Greninja, a bootleg Mewtwo, Lucario, and here's Jigglypuff, and Piplup, aka Gaized Gaizero. That's it for Pokemon, now it's time for Spongebob. First off, we have Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Spongebob, Tuxedo Pants, two Squidwards, and two Planktons. That is the entire Spongebob collection. Now it's time for Disney. To start off, we have the massive 18-inch Goofy. Oh, yeah. There's Wizard Mickey, or Sorcerer Mouse as we call him. Safari Goofy. Donald. Mickey. Kermit. Jack Skellington. Oh, oh uh, I'm here. I'm with everyone. Woody, and the original Woody. 
And now for some surprising Disney characters, we have Ansem from Kingdom Hearts. Yes, Kingdom Hearts is owned by Disney. Zimnis. And to end off the Disney section, we have Mickey in the Organization 13 cloak. This guy, he, uh, he kind of counts. Disney Channel in Asia. Yeah, uh, he's here. That ends off the Disney section. Now it's time for Cuphead. So first, we have Lucifer the Devil, King Dice, Mugman with a bit of clothes on, and finally, Cuphead. That's it for the Cuphead section, now time for Microsoft. So first, we got Steve, Enderman, Creeper, and finally, Banjo and Kazooie. That's it for Microsoft, and now we're moving on to the Smash Bros. section which is just for characters who don't have enough characters for their own series collection. Starting off with Ryu from Street Fighter, Ken, Isabel, Tom Nook, Fox, Falco, and Snake. Here's Otakon from Metal Gear Solid. He's not in Smash, but you know, he's in the Snake set, so he's just here. We also got Sans because he has a Mii costume, and you can't have Sans without Papyrus. Then we have Shantae, because she's a me costume. And then King Slime from Dragon Quest, because, you know, Slime is a me costume. This is kind of slimy. Then we have Pit from Kid Icarus, as well as Palutena. These guys won't be on the floor, but instead in their own little section, since they're already organized. Here are the Fire Emblem characters. Starting from left to right, we have Marth, Lucina, Roy, Corin, and Ike. That's it for the Smash section, now it's on to the miscellaneous. This will be the last section of the video. <laughs> We're in a bit of a different spot now because there's no space over there except for that little circle, but we gotta be able to walk there. So here's Orangutan, here's Mr. Pickle, Puppet Dragon, Phil's Dragon you could say. Then we have the High Lizard, High Lizard's alternate universe counterpart, Time Lizard. We have this Blue Dragon. And then we have me, the king, with my Minecraft pickaxe. Then we have a bagged pink nerd. A green nerd. Then this dude, this random crocodile. He technically could have been part of the DK section, but he's miscellaneous now. We have this guy. Plus survival is never happening. Alright, it's time. The last plush of the collection. Shrek, it's me, donkeys! Just kidding, there wasn't just one plush left. Now, there's one left. It's the grand plush, the best one of them all. The Fortnite Poisonous Flopper. And that is officially it for the 2021 October Plush Collection.